The word distribution means sharing out a thing to several recipients or members. In terms of human pharmacology, distribution is the sharing of drug from the blood to other parts of the body, that is, its sites of action, metabolism, or excretion. Or you can say that it is a branch of pharmacokinetics which describes the transfer of drugs from blood to various tissues of the body, for instance, fat, muscles, and brain tissue. We know that the pharmacokinetics involve four processes, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. For IV administered drugs, the first process, absorption, is skipped as drug directly enters into the systemic circulation. So, the first step of pharmacokinetic for IV dosage form is distribution. Once a drug enters systemic circulation by absorption or direct administration, it must be distributed into interstitial or intracellular fluids. Remember that distribution is a passive process, means the movement of drug is due to concentration gradient. That is why sometimes redistribution of drug occurs back from tissues to the blood plasma. Pharmacological action of a drug depends upon its concentration at the site of action. That's why distribution plays a significant role in the onset, intensity, and duration of action. Drug distribution also determines the dose of drugs, keeping other factors in account too. Factors that affect the distribution include cardiac output, local blood flow, capillary permeability, tissue protein, and lipophilicity of a drug. Let us discuss them one by one in common sections.